and good morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video guys thank you so much for taking time out of your day to click on this video i really do appreciate it and i love you guys for it even more guys i just came back from the school run and you know what i forgot to do and i wanted to show you guys this i forgot to take out the meat to cook today so look at this guys rock hard so that's how we're starting our day today guys happy thursday I already made some rice over there guys I made some broccoli here's the cabbage and then I just got the the meat over there going it still has some time to go because I want it really really soft and tender and I should have put it in the slow cooker it's okay and then I've got some carrots over here I already chopped it so when the meat is a bit softer then I'm gonna add the carrots with it and then by this point it was already half past 11 and I just discovered that I didn't have breakfast yet and yeah my stomach was telling me what's up so um i just toasted me some bread and i just put on half a avocado pea guys and yep there we go putting on the avo and then i also put on um what am i doing let's just wait and see ah cleaning the hands uh, okay then i'm also putting on some of the chicken salad of yesterday i'm having a conversation with hubby so what am i doing i don't know what am i doing with my hands on top um explaining doing something eventually spreading the chicken salad lots of big movements i don't can't remember what we were talking about um but it looks like i was really passionate about it by the hand movement earlier on getting the last scoop on the toast going going what now um explaining something more pepper i'm supposed to go in with salt now but still talking explaining hand movements mm, done with the salt then still talking cutting it up come on now girl cutting the toast yep yep guys this might be too long for this clip so i'm gonna cut it short because obviously i'm in a conversation and i'm talking and i'm not getting done with the food so this was it guys this was my lunch and i will insert the points um soon and then i just took my flask of tea guys and i'm just gonna pour me a cup of nice hot tea and then there voila i just wanted to show you guys um kind of like a stew or it's almost done and guys it smells delicious and um yeah that is it there's the meat i cut up some of the meat already and i threw the carrots in there um, I can actually um, I can actually switch this off and switch the plate off so today I managed to drop another point 0 0.2 kilograms um, which I'm really happy about it's going slow but it's going and that's what's most important later guys it's too too sunny I'm just gonna do this and I'm just, um, yeah, I was just taking it easy. I was just relaxing, doing a few things. But the day actually went very fast. I, I don't know where the time went. It went very, very fast. Anyway, guys, I just want to um, come on here before I say goodbye. And, oh, oh sorry, pardon. Guys, no, man, I don't like this. I like to see you guys. And 
Guys, I was just listening to somebody today and they were just saying that, um, you know, the world, you know, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And it's so true. It's so, so true. Guys, you must be living under a rock or in a cave not to see all the things that's happening in the world, you know, not to see what's going on, especially as a believer and not to feel the pressures of what's going on in the world because everything is in the spiritual realm there's a lot of pressure at the moment in the spiritual realm it's been like that for quite some time now but it's like it escalates and it escalates right and um and it's so important that we just stay prayerful we just stay prayerful for what's going on around us you know our our life at our workplaces our children look now the things i've been facing and I'm sure a lot of people out there is going through the same thing, has been through the same thing, is going to encounter like that, something like that, sometime in their life. You know, and you know when it comes to your children, that's a different thing altogether. And especially if you're a mom, if something affects them, it affects you too, you feel what they feel, you know. I sometimes wonder if this grey hair of mine, if some of it, yeah, it's hereditary, but I think some of it is also, you know, the kids, the stuff, the whatever anyway guys so um yeah and i was just thinking of all these things and especially yeah guys oh it's a different culture here it's a different way of life it's everything it's just it's just it's just different it's just different and i wasn't going to talk about the story i was just like um getting ready to come in everything and this um story just came to mind you know um it's not easy like okay let me start like this like People say they want to go to another country, right? Because their circumstances too much and all this and that, where they are at. And that is fine. But every decision has a pro and a con. Everything has a pro and a con. You have to weigh out everything. You mustn't just make a decision. I mean, like that time when we came over, guys, that was years ago. And we came because um, we wanted a better life for my son. My son was only small. He was a year old. And then when we came over and then my daughter was born here, okay? So you have to um, like weigh out everything, especially now with the way that the world is, you know. Now is a time where you just have to weigh out everything. So anyway, guys, so I've got this other uh, mom that I know. She's from Ghana, but they've lived in Cape Town the last years before they came here. So me and her was just chatting, you know, with the children about this, about that. And um she was just saying, we were just talking and then um, it just so happened because she was talking about her elder daughter and stuff and then I spoke about my son and, um, and it's not just, guys, it's not just the fact that I know I had this situation with uh, my daughter, thank goodness the children don't watch uh, my videos, but um, I go through things with my son too, not bad things like um, challenging things in, in this sense, I'm now going to ex explain to you guys. So she was telling me that she knew this, um, she worked with this colleague and she was from South Africa, she was from Cape Town, our culture, our people. Anyway, so guys, everything I'm going to say now, this is just my viewpoint. You know, if, you, if you're watching me, you hear, you feel a different way, it's okay, that is, it's my, it's my viewpoint, you know, it's, because I'm speaking from my point of view in the sense of, my people, my culture, where I come from, things like that, right? So, um, anyway, guys, so she was telling me, um, she worked with this lady, and then this lady um, was from Cape Town, and they came over, but the way I can make out the story is, okay, before I tell you guys that story, let me just first tell you about my son. So, my son, for the last year, he was saying to us that he wants to go to uni, that's fine, we support. But he wants to go to uni in another city, in Otago. He wants to go to Otago University. And, you know, that didn't sit too well with us. It still doesn't. But, you know, we just give everything to the Lord. We All you can do as a parent is you can love your child. You can advise. You can try to guide as much as you can. And and then you just pray. You lay everything in, in front of God and you just pray. You just commit everything into God's hand. Anyway, guys, and that is how the conversation with me and this um, mom began. And then she was telling me about this um, family. They were, um, this family, they were, 
living here but the way i can understand the story is they didn't it wasn't like us where the children were small and the child was born and the other child was born here i think they came here when the children was already school going children so anyway this lady uh, eldest son uh, eldest child was also a son and he also wanted to go to otago university because guys yeah the cultures like that yeah it's nothing yeah it's nothing to go to another uni to go and um, go on the dorms, things like that. Children go out, they flat. They leave their family homes, they go flat. Um, living together, all these things, guys. And I'm not saying it's um, everybody's doing it, but let's face it, there is a culture of, of, of drinking in this country, especially among, among the young people. All these things. I'm not saying it's not happening anywhere else, but I'm just saying where I come from, that wasn't like the culture. You know what I'm saying? anyway so that's now that story so we were talking chatting and this is how the story now began guys about her this family and the son was like he's also going he wants to go to otago university he doesn't see anything wrong with it he wants to study they're the best for now apparently otago university is the best if you want to do science medicine stuff like that anyway so guys the mom couldn't handle it this mom, she couldn't handle it. She couldn't handle it. And obviously there was arguments and stuff. And, you know, she says this, the son says this. And, oh, they're very stubborn, guys. They're very stubborn because, oh, everybody's doing it. Oh, what's the big deal? It's the best for this that I want to study and blah and why and all this and that. Anyway, guys, at the end of the day, the mom just had enough. She, I don't know, dad, what was dad's viewpoint? Obviously, dad also was supporting mom and all this and that. But mum just packed up the whole family, guys. Pins in poikies terug, South Africa to. Kaap to, terug huis to. She packed them all up. You know, I was shocked. And people going back is not a surprise. I've heard that before. But the reason why she did it, that is what they had misdone, you know. And, um, and I was just like, wow, that's drastic measures. And I think why I was thinking that because, you know, coming here is already a big step. It's already a big deal. It's already a... And imagine going back. Uh, oh, I don't know, guys, but she did it. She didn't want to hear anything because it's the culture, man. It's the culture because the kids here is different to our kids there. I'm not saying our kids are angels, but it's, it's not. It's the culture anyway guys she packed them up she went they went back to south africa so otago for that young man didn't never happen and but i was just thinking like if we live in cape town why would you i'm not saying people's not doing it i haven't been in south africa now for i've been out for how many years guys my son is gonna be 16 next year so like 14 wait no 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 yeah about 14 next year gonna be 15 years that we've been out so i don't know a lot of things could have changed a lot of things are different but like i just think logically if you live in cape town why would you want to now move to johannesburg to go to a university there or why would you want to go to um durban to go to university there why would you do that when they are maybe now there's maybe now there's more unis there but why would you go in these three universities in Cape Town? You dubs, UCT, Stellenbosch. Why? 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 I don't know, guys. And then, um, and even if you must go, even going to Johannesburg or Durban from Cape Town or Port Elizabeth, going there is even better than going all the way to Otago University in distance, I think. I think, because I've never been there before. I might be wrong. I don't know. I speak under correction, but still. Guys, so this is all the stuff that we face as parents. This is all the things that we go through. This is all the things that we deal with. These are the things, because our children grow up here. This is now like kind of their culture too, even though it's not our culture. It's not how we grew up and things like that. So, yeah, we deal with a lot of things. And then it's still the pressures of life that's going on. And anyway, guys, so I just thought to myself, wow. And, um, but when I spoke to this mom from Ghana, she said to me, yeah, at least your child wants to go study further. So I said, no, yes, we support him in everything. But I'm just trying to say, it's that type of thing, you know. 
of course you're a parent you're gonna uh, worry and things and guys the, the strange thing about this whole thing is i thought i would be paranoid right about my son but my husband's more my husband's more my husband even said we all must move to otago university my son was horrified he was horrified when he heard that he he just said no no y'all are not moving there no he was just horrified now you know what if it was me i would be too happy if my family want to move with me for that support but they don't see it like that they don't see it like that guys oh guys hang on my phone is overheating it's so hot the message is coming up let me put you guys here don't phone overheating camera is causing your phone to overheat it will be automatically closing 20 seconds guys i'm gonna end this video now i um got cut off because my phone just kept on overheating kept on switching off so before the same thing happens i'm rather just gonna end this video until the next video bit guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here um i appreciate all of you guys i love you guys so remember guys stay strong stay blessed stay encouraged and love yourself because you're absolutely worthy of all the love in the world until next time love you guys um bye